Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn, where I really hope I fix my audio issues. Um, I hadn't realized, but for many, many episodes now, I've had a double noise gate running on my microphone. So particularly when I said welcome back, it was messing up the B on the word back and you wasn't hearing it. So apologies for that. I've only just noticed it. Um, nobody actually said anything in the comments, so I guess it wasn't a major problem, but I had noticed it on a couple of episodes, so I was like, mm, I must fix that. So anyway, anyway, we're going to explodify things and do some stuff here, uh, but I need to basically cut this path off and have it, um, yeah, the beam's going to have to go around for a bit because we need to build a bridge over this, but we need to make sure it's going to be the correct sort of size for things. So um, let's put another explosive in there, actually. Just gonna come down here, go along here, come back up here and connect to this one here. Should not be a problem. I might take this edge out here, which means the trees. Oh no, that edge has got to stay there, so that's fine. That's gonna stay there like that. Okay. Right, let's cut this off here. The beavers must go round the other way now. Sorry. Bump, bump. It's gonna be quite a steep edge on there, so that's fine. That's fine. Um might put a little bridge in there. Uh, there are no three-way bridges. Um, maybe we will get rid of that tree and uh, move this back on and then put a two-way bridge in there. Seems like a good place. Seems like a good place for a bridge. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Let's uh, mark that for del deletion and then we'll move this back and then we'll... Yeah, okay. So we'll do that there. Also, we're in a drought. The drought's almost over, so I kind of want to get this done over here. However, I've looked at this and I've kind of realised, can beavers lean over the edge of this bridge to build? Can they reach that side? I don't know. Do we have another one of these bridges somewhere? We do here. If I was to build... Okay, that's our range. That's in range. So yes, they can lean over the edge of this bridge. Okay, cool. So we can do that. So what I want to do is I want to destroy all this and I want to replace all this with... Um... Gates, not gates, gates, not the correct word here. I also really want to, yeah, we can destroy all this. So we'll get rid of that. Yes, get rid of that. Yes, make this a priority because we are still low on planks. Well, we're doing well on planks actually. Where are planks? Planks are, yeah, planks are up to 1.2k. Trees are planks 1.8k. So we're doing, we're doing pretty well for planks. So. Then we're going to put in more dirt here. I don't think like that. I think I think our water is going to go down for a bit. We're going to, we're going to suffer with low water for a little tiny bit. That's okay. Um, and then I'm going to put in uh, floodgates all along here. I want to have the floodgates controlled by a water a stream gauge, uh, which can sit yeah above there. So basically, as the water level rises, the um, the floodgates open. And I want to keep the water level as full as possible hopefully so the idea would be that when the water level hits um there so when the water level hits it was too far away we can't build that there um we have to put the water cage on the side which is yeah actually that's fine that'll be fine next out there yeah uh, so when the water cage hits a certain height um, we change, we adjust these, open and close them depending where it is, which basically means when a drought comes along, because droughts are slow, droughts, um, before the drought starts, the water sources start slowing down. Uh, what I'd like to do is, as the water sources start slowing down, we seal this off here, and we keep more water in the whole area. That's the plan. Because then, when we do our aquatic crops, which will be on the edge of the water, the bank um, along here, um, we don't have to worry about um the water got away hopefully it will stay during during all the droughts and during the bad water and everything will be fine it says hopefully not entirely sure that's going to work or not but we'll see um i also want to remove this edge here so i can get down and get rid of some of these trees down here so even just one bit would do but i'm going to get rid of for the minute it's too far away from anyone that's fine we can fix that by doing Oop, and then we'll put something in there so we can get rid of those trees down there 
And I think these trees here, yeah, these trees can be cut by you, so you're going to cut those trees, that's fine. This is ready to explode, let's do that. We'll also see whether that helps with um, the flow of water, because when the drought is finished, the flow of water will come back there, that'll be fine. Okay, I want you to pick up all this before we put in any more of these... Uh, Okay, so uh, also do I want what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten floodgates. I think we need only eight. We're only six technically. But I'm gonna go with eight. Actually, no, we'll go with ten. We'll just go with ten. Why not? We'll just we'll just go with ten. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. Um So if I was to do that first and then do this. And then we want to put in dirt there. This is going to take a little while, so yeah, this is going to it's going to suffer for a bit. I think that should be okay to actually do that as well there. Oh, it moved over by one. Typical. There we go. It's in the right place now. Awesome. Right. And then we put in floodgates like that. The floodgates all want to be synchronized together, and they want to be uh, well, they want to be 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Yeah. So as the water level rises above a certain amount, we'll open the gates and let the water pour out. And then when it drops below a certain amount, we'll off. We will open it. So these will be open and closing a fair bit, which might cause waves and might cause problems for us and bits and pieces and yada yada yada. So yeah, but hey ho, uh, I'm going to up the priority of all of that. But it's we need to do the uh, the dirt there first, really. Put the dirt in first, that's important. Okay, that'll be fine. And then we'll come and do this here. Well, let's do this here now. Okay, so we want to put in you there. Then we want to detonate this. So let's go. Run, beavers, run. It's not actually deep enough to get a... We want to take out that there as well to let the water come down. I think we probably want to take out this here as well because I want to have maybe not quite so much as what we got there, but this this should be okay. Okay, and then we want to block this side as well. And then we need to come in and block the centerpiece. Okay, there's going to be a bridge over here. The road is going to go around this, so you are kind of in the way here, I'm afraid. Goodbye. Um. I think I want to have one more at least there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this with the road. Temporarily. This will not get built anytime soon. So that wants to basically be entirely blown up. And then on the ends we want to do something like that. That. That'd be okay, actually. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be okay. 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 So, go, 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 go. Let's see. You are still planting crops here. I did have that one running so we could plant some of the oak seedlings, so that will go there. We want to have another actual planter in here anyway, because one is not going to be able to keep up. No one is. Plus, I haven't put any um, lumberjack flags in here as well. So, that's a bit of a mistake on my behalf. Should have uh, fix that. Let's uh, flip the building around and put him there. You'll be able to reach everywhere there. Then we want to come in here and I want to go with um, removing. So let's get rid of that one. And that one, we'll put one there as well. Where are we dropping down trees? Up to here. And so we'll put in a lumberjack flag. There, there, there. Another one there. And another one there. There we go. I think that'll work. Awesome. Okay. Now, the water is not going to work right for us. Let's get rid of these here as well. They are very much not needed anymore. Oh, you're getting on with that. Very well. Very well done. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. And I can just basically connect the uh, trim gauge up to the end one and have them all synchronize, depending on the height and whatnot. So we can do that. That won't be a problem. Uh, bot track fuel um i was a little worried for a moment um i had a bit of a panicky thing of the, the whole we don't have the potatoes anymore which means you don't have any fuel oh no 
Uh, but we do, we still have, we still have 1200 potatoes in here, so that's not a problem. This will run out here, and we'll sort this out in a minute, so this will be fine, and then we will start doing the potato thing here, which shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, I'm going to re-enable you for a moment, just so you can start using up some of these uh, dandelions and things. Stacked around, no storage available for stuff. Just use up some of the berries and things and just fill up the antidote. This kind of wants to move anyway. I don't know where I'm going to move it to. Probably down here. I'm never going to use it, but... Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay, uh, none of this is going to get built down here. That's fine. That doesn't matter. Because this is our priority here. Whoa, autosave. It's not filling up yet. Okay. Ooh. Initial. Okay, this is all done as well. This is this is actually finished, and as you can see, there's no. Well, there's no bad water on the edge anyway because it's not so bad. Um, I did say about adjusting this um, to have it come down here and and make this do a 180, and then it it pours into the end. I still kind of want to do that, but we're gonna leave that for a minute because I'm not quite sure which way I want to go with this. Um, we will see. We will see with that one. Um, and this is all good. This is all good. It's just yeah. So this is the next thing, just to make sure the uh, the water is where it should be. So um, right. So we need to wait for that to get built as well. So okay, okay. Speed up. Go go go. And build me a dam. Okay. It's nearly done. It took a long time. Six days. Six game days because we don't have any logs. <laughs> okay. We are so low on logs, it's unbelievable. But it's almost there. And then the guy built that and then everything will be fine. Okay, right. So, what else? Did we get anything else done? We did. We, did. we got this done. Let's blow this up. There we go, beavers. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's, um, uh, well, let's redo the path. We want the path. Uh, there is a box of pine resin there. Can I remove the box of pine resin? Please, it's kind of in the way. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to go all the way around the edge. And we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, oh, we need to probably do a little bit of cleaning up here. I need to get down in there to do that a bit of cleaning up in there, but that's, that's fine. We'll figure it out in a minute. Uh, yeah, so some of this needs to be cleaned up a little tiny bit. There we go. Okay. I don't want to build a bridge across this here. It's kind of full wide, which is a little bit awkward, but we'll put it here. Uh, we're going to extend the trees out as well around here, so. That one there. We'll extend the trees out around here as well because this should have a decent range. Yeah, this can be drawn down to here. So we'll extend the trees down to there. Uh, let's do that now, shall we? Uh, do, do, do oak there. And we'll do <coughs> oak there. Oh, excuse me. And we will put in um, two more lumberjacks down in there. There you go. Okay. And then you can reach all the way down here, reach up there. You can reach somewhere in here as well. I don't know whether one's going to be enough for this. Probably not. We might have to put another um, one in. But we will figure that one out later. Okay, this can be exploded by now. Pop, pop. We can put in here a platform down. And then put in another lumberjack here. And I don't know if you will get access to this. You should get access to this. So I'm going to leave you for the minute. Yeah. Okay, um, right, that is empty now, so that can go. Awesome. Uh, right. Right, 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 right. Okay. So, let us do this. Oh, let me turn off the path in, makes the game a lot faster. A lot faster. Oop, let's get rid of this roadway in the center here. Let's get rid of this roadway in the center here. So, I'm sure beavers, you must go around. And let's plant our first um, area. Now, 
um, I did expect this to not have as many green areas in it, and then we extended the river, so now it does have it. And the river gets very narrow down here, but that's okay. That's fine. Absolutely fine. I think we will just bridge across here. Let's do um, steel bridges, little two-way bridges. Let's do... Um, I could put double bridges in, because it's kind of... I'm going to. I'm going to put double bridges in. Well there. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to do that. Just because it's a four-way thing, I want it to be even. Yeah. So, I'm going to put a double bridge in there, just because we can. Simple as that. Uh, and we want to do potatoes in this area here, but I want to do it in like a round-ish. Well, I say round. It's going to be up against here, along here, and then... I'll talk like that, and I think that's going to be the potato field. And then we'll put maybe a farm down here and a farm up here. Which will run the potato field, and then potatoes will have to go over here. Processing will probably... Well, I don't know where processing is done, actually. I was going to say up here, but we might do some... I don't know. I don't know where processing is going to do. Maybe we'll do like potato processing all in here. So the potatoes become grilled potatoes in here, in this area as well, and just you export the grilled potatoes, which won't be a problem. Um... We just need to put somewhere. We need a windmill. So we are going to need power down here somewhere. Uh, actually, actually, no. For grain, we don't. Do not. We do. We not have the Dutch windmill, which is a little tiny thing, which is a very weird size because it's actually just one tile big. Um. So, uh, yeah, and that will turn uh, wheat into grain slowly, or uh, cattail into grain. So, yeah. Okay. We'll try and figure out having a circle of potatoes. So that's about the best I can get. You you can't do round, obviously, but that's that's about the best sort of I can get. Looks even maybe a little bit more down here than it needs to be. So, but th that 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 field will absolutely suffice for running food for the beavers and bot power. That's that's the thing for it. So at least the potato fields wants to be slightly larger than the rest. Um, carrots will go maybe up here. We'll do something down here. Maybe grain down here because grain doesn't need that much space compared to the rest. Um, I'll put in the grills next door to it. So they are going to make the grilled potatoes all here. And then that can just be exported out to here. However, whenever, whatever. Um, I also looked at the chestnuts. We're going to get chestnuts down here. Um, and I... Uh, I don't know where to put the... Um, to the chest I think I might just put them over this side here and do okay, so so the crops we have we still need to do so um some flowers require ridiculous amounts of land um uh, wheat does not carrots yeah so carrots will go here wheat will go down here in between there uh we're gonna have some stuff that processes the wheat and does bits and pieces of that we have no power here uh we could run power up from this side here I could also just use this area right here on the end to process the wheat um, and then have the, uh, the the link between the two here and then run the power that is tempting I might actually do that there um, we well uh, I'm saying that and I've just mentioned that we have the Dutch windmill so we don't need power for that the Dutch windmill is self-powered so um, yeah uh, unlike the uh, grits mill which requires power that's it. The bakery does not require power. Uh, beehives we can put in as well if we need to. I'm not doing beehives at the moment. Because um, I forgot about them. But also, more importantly, um, I really don't think we need them. Uh, I might dot a couple of them around, like in, in places. Um, doing things. Particularly with the sunflowers. We're definitely going to put them with the sunflowers, actually. That, that's because sunflowers are awful so um yeah uh, the only problem we have is we don't have any storage right now because that's going to come up here somewhere or be somewhere up here so do a bit of wheat here we'll do a bit of carrots on the end here so maybe here we can have some storage and things uh, for the foods it can all come here and we're going to have a crossing here which connects to this one we're going to have a district crossing here which connects to this one and then we might we can use some space down here although i think we need more books and stuff down here so We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, and then... Uh, that's good. I accidentally removed this when I was trying to remove the... Um, roads around. So... Oh. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, pine resin, you can go as well. And berries, you can go as well. Bomb, just drop on the floor. Okay. We've got loads of bots doing nothing, which is fine. Um... 
two bots out of fuel. That's because they've got a long way to go. Maybe I should get some fuel storage in here somewhere as well. We should have like a little... We've got fuel down here, but it's not... It's a two this. We should definitely try and stick in... Um, maybe around the centre here somewhere. Yeah. Fuel storage. Somewhere. I'm not sure where. But I really do think we... We do want some form of fuel storage here for bots. Uh, we can put it on top. Ooh. That's tempting. We can put it on top and then put a... Uh, uh, if I remove... That path. We can do that and then put a tiny little fuel storage on top. You're going to be for bar fuel and you're going to be a obtain. Oh, there you go. That'll work. That'll work. A little, little thing there. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. People can still walk underneath that. That's not a problem at all. So yeah, we'll do that. We can have a bit of storage there for, for bot. Doesn't look so bad. It looks like it's part of that system there. Uh, and also bear in mind that they can grab fuel directly from these. So um, uh, let's increase the workers in there because we've got so many spare bots at the moment. Um, so if there's bar fuel inside these guys, they can also grab the fuel from there directly. So not only will we have one in the center there, we'll also have one maybe here, maybe here, maybe here. Definitely here and here. Uh, maybe there. We'll see, we'll see. So, okay, okay. This is all done and dusted and built and sorted and what is that? So, okay. So I want to link you to this one. Advanced attached seam gauge, that one. Okay, and what I want to do is, I want to say, when you are, right, pause the game just a moment here, pause the game just a moment, right, stream gauge low threshold is meters, so we are 2.66 as standard, so what we want to do is we want to say, When it says low threshold, so in, I never really want to open these 100%. Um, ignore contamination, we're not fussed about that. Uh, stream gauge low threshold, so when it's at the lowest height, we will do so. We want to do that when it drops below 2.75. Okay, and when it gets to 2.99, we open it to 0.5. Let's try that. That should close the floodgates. That's going to cause a flood. This is not opening. Oh, it's opening and closing. Uh, okay. Okay, so... 2.5 and 2.75... No, 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 hang on. Uh, uh. Am I getting this right? Of course, the water's jumped up and down everywhere at the moment, so... <laughs> We're opening and closing, because this is getting the height... Yeah, because the water's now messed up here. Um, table during the temperate phase, open. Let the water out. <laughs> I didn't see any flooding happen down here. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to it too much there, but yeah. Um, so let the water out. Okay, so what we want to do is we need to... Close you to 0.5. Okay. See where the water goes to. So if you drop below 0.25, we want to close you. Yep. And if you get above 2.6, we want to open you. Is that right? Is that what I want to do? So right now the water will be open, and as soon as it starts dropping, so actually I want to change this to if it's below 2.6, don't we? 
But what if I did that and turn off that? So as soon as the water drops below 2.6, because I can't, I don't have any fine control. I can't close them to like 0.75 or whatever like that, so we can actually get the water up as high as is actually possible. But the idea being behind this, the, re the reason behind this is that if the water level, when the drought comes along, the water level slowly starts dropping and you lose so much before the actual thing, um, before the dry season hits. So if you say, hey, close these when the dry season hits, you will have already lost like half your water. So um, yeah, so this will keep us to 2.6, which I would like to get even higher on this. Oh, oh, see now it's doing the, now, now it's doing this open and close, open and close thing. Yeah, so this this is a problem. This is a problem. It's going to start open closing and doing causing problems because the uh, water level is raising and lowering. Maybe this needs to be further back. Maybe this stream gauge needs to be further back over here somewhere where that ripple effect won't affect it. It's too close to the sources. So let's remove that. Um, we should just let that open normally. Let's put in a stream gauge back here. Yes, the water's pouring back over here, but that's fine. It, it will it will balance out soon. Um, and then we'll connect that one to it, and then we'll see how that goes. So yeah. hopefully we can get some of our trees going as well. Some of these must be kind of close-ish to being done. No, you I should prioritize oak for. Um, 10%, 10%, 25%, we're nowhere near it. So I'm going to have to just let the game go for a little bit and see how it runs. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do then. We will let the game run for a bit. I'll leave it running. Um, and uh, we can let things do their thing. Um, I just basically want to make sure the water level is high. Um, and what I'm concerned about, I said, is I don't want these to close at a bad water and we've already lost so much water i want to close them before that so that when we lower this out because the idea is going to be that uh we just make the river really wide here but only one deep i'm still going to have the main river here but we make it right here in one deep on the other side of the coast and that's where all our aquatic courts go so we don't want the river drying out completely during that time so yeah so, this can also go here as well we don't need this um, yeah, I don't need that. So you do that. Okay. You build a stream gauge yet? Where's the stream gauge? Build it. Build, 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 build. Come on. Priority. Build it, build it, build it. So I will play with this as well. I will play with this to try and get a decent sort of level working where the water um, it can hold the water in. Um, it's a shame there isn't more finite control on the floodgates, like 0 0.25, 0 0.75, or just rather than having them snap, have them actually be a level. So um, it's a shame. I don't, I don't think the game does that. I think it's just purely the way this this figures out is basically it's not a block, it's a dam, it is a block. And that's how the game figures it out. So, but um, yeah, because I'd like to like fill these up to the 0.75 and have the water right up to the edge, and then it just pours over. That would be very nice, but we can't do that. I'll do that. Okay, shrimp gauge is attached. Let's attach you to right. Pause the game. Attach you to there. Okay. So screen gauge is 0.75. So at 0.75, we want to leave this here. So I'm gonna say let's go to 2.7. And if it drops below 2.7, we close the gates. And if it goes above 2.7, we open them halfway. And they never open more than that that doesn't leave this level of water a bit low here we could probably go by 2.75 actually we go 2.77 that closes the water we don't do that we'll go we'll go 2.7 we'll go 2.7 okay okay and then if it drops below below 2.7 Let's see, you're up at three now, which means this will stay open. If it drops below 2.7, it will close. And if it drops, if it goes above 2.7, it will open to 0.25. So yeah, so that gives us 0.7, I'm going to go 0.75. 0.75. 
which is what I wanted to do. I wanted 0.75 basically, which is here. So the, the height would be 0.75 here. So let's see whether that works. The problem is every time these close, they're gonna cause this flood back, um, which isn't terrible. If I'm honest with you, it's not, it's not a really bad thing. Um, it does cause a bit of problems. You can see here it's caused a bit of flooding and stuff, but it will filter itself out again anyway. Why have you done that? You. Oh, you are closed. Okay, so yeah, no, this wants to be 0.27. I'll go 0.275, that doesn't work. I'll go 0.27. Okay, open. Get the water out. <laughs> oh, this should be actually 2.69, shouldn't it? If it's below 2.69 it closes and if it's above 2.7 it opens so yeah that'd be better that'd be better okay 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 i shall keep playing with this and doing these things here we probably don't need this amount of finite control i kind of want it just to yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes maybe we'll cause mass flooding who knows who knows either way we'll come back next time we'll carry on from there i'm gonna let this go through a cycle of trees, so we've got to wait for at least 30 days for this to go through a cycle of trees so we can start getting a load of trees up here. Let's detonate that out here. I will fix other stuff that we have to do into the river and things, wherever it was. I'll find that there. And uh, yeah, and we'll we'll deal with that. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>